Hi, everybody. I wanted to take a few minutes to talk to those of you that are just starting out your doctoral studies. Um, just in your first year, you're in those first few courses and you're just trying to wrap your head around everything. Your job in your first year is to really start thinking about what you want to study, figure out kind of that topic, start laying out your 10 strategic points. And I want to show you a way that you can start collecting that data and kind of organizing your thoughts using OneNote. Um, this is a digital notebook. For me, it was really helpful to keep track of a lot of what I was reading and organize thoughts into themes. Um, if you haven't seen my video where I walk you through my OneNote, um, I'll link it at the end of this video. But here's how I would suggest starting so that you can start collecting your thoughts. If you choose to use OneNote, you can start collecting your thoughts and um, kind of help yourself narrow down your topics and your interests. Because when you start searching, it's going to expand and you're going to get frustrated and you know, there's going to be all kinds of different directions and you just have to keep pushing through it, taking your notes until you can figure out and narrow down what it is that you want to do. So in OneNote, it, once you open OneNote, you should have the option here to look at all your notebooks. You can add a new notebook if you don't have any. I've got one here where I'm just using for YouTube examples. In each of each notebook, you'll have a column for sections, which if you think about like a, a trapper keeper, a regular binder, these are like the folders that you put in with the tab folders. And then you can add pages. So think about each of these pages as something that falls under the tabbed folder. So here's the sections that I would add. I would add sections on all of the topics of interest that you might have. So maybe you're interested in looking at communication. Maybe you're interested in looking at creativity. Maybe you're interested in looking at um, HR hiring practices. I can't type. Okay. So these are kind of the, the larger topics that you might be interested in. You could also consider putting in um, fourth grade math students. Okay, maybe that's a population of interest. Okay, so consider some of the topics of interest, consider who you might be interested in studying as well. Okay, so once you have those topics of interest, then I want you to think about different pages that you should put under there. Okay, as you're reading, you're going to identify gaps, right, or recommendations for future research. Okay. And you can literally take the article link from the library, just cut and paste the title, and you can cut and paste the recommendations for future research, okay, if it's something that, that makes sense to you. And as you're reading, you might end up with like four or five of these that sound interesting that you'd like to pursue, okay? So collect your gaps or recommendations for future research. The other thing that I would start looking at is themes. OK, and you're going to as you're reading, you're going to start to see different things like what are the outcomes of communication? What are the. Um, I don't know, blockers. Um, can't think of the right word, but like what what. What creates problems for communication? Um, and continue as you start to read, you'll start to see themes come out. OK. You can add your references, you can add your notes, you can link to articles, you can screenshot um, and add pictures, you can um, link to websites, you can do all kinds of things in here, just kind of use this to drop your thoughts and um, collect all of your information about all these different things. The reason why I mention these themes is the more you read about a particular topic, the more you're going to see different things that researchers bring up. And so you want to start collecting that because these themes then, if you choose to go down the path of communication and talking about communication in your study, these themes will become part of your literature review. Okay. So when you start collecting that data, you're already working on chapter two, which gets you steps ahead. Okay. But it also helps you kind of narrow down your topic, narrow down your thoughts and tie into any gaps or recommendations for future research. Okay. 
add sections as you see themes, you might read something and realize, yeah, I don't really want to focus on, on HR hiring practices. Then just ignore it and, and keep adding and you can, you can adjust as you go. The other thing that I would also add potentially is theoretical frameworks. Okay, so as you're reading about communication, what theoretical frameworks are being brought up and referenced? Okay, this will help guide your study because if you see a theoretical framework here and it comes up again in creativity, you can look at that relationship and say, oh, maybe that's the path that I go down in my study about how communication relates to creativity and innovation and, you know, virtual teams or something like that. So, but you want to look at the theoretical framework specifically related to communication. For quantitative studies, the theoretical frameworks are the variables that you end up testing. Okay, so for me, work engagement and psychological capital were the theoretical frameworks that I used and they were my dependent and independent variables. I'm sorry, dependent and um, moderating variables. Okay, the last section that I would add would be the 10 strategic points. Okay, this will probably just have one page. Um, and I pulled up, let me see if I can get it here. I pulled up the 10 strategic points table from the template. And all I'm going to do, right, it copied over all the comments, but that's okay. I've got the link of where it lives on my, my drive. And then you can just adjust this. Uh, can we merge these? I can't, no big deal. We're just make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so now you have your 10 SP right here in OneNote and you can start writing out, here's my topic. And this is where you can kind of play with it, okay? The other thing that you can do if you're a dork like me and you like to keep like archive and see where you went is if you get one version, you can copy it and you can, you can say maybe this is my 10 strategic points from March 2023. And if you update it, you can copy it and say, okay, I updated it 10 strategic points August 2023 after I went to residency. And that way you can kind of see where you came from. Um, Cause sometimes we go back and we pull some things that we had originally. So I like to keep everything cause I'm, I guess a content hoarder, but this is one way that you can, you can use OneNote to kind of track your 10 strategic points and how you're writing it. And it's always in the same place. Okay. So these are some things that you can start doing as a first year dissertation doctoral student is start reading and reading and reading and reading and reading and collecting your thoughts on gaps, themes, theoretical frameworks, and begin to narrow down your ideas into your 10 strategic points. And hopefully this will be helpful to you and get you to a done dissertation. Have a great weekend, everybody.